Hi, I'm Brandon King uh, with Billy Goat Industries. We're live at ARA in Orlando, Florida. This is the ARA 2020 show. We're at booth 1065. Today we're going to be talking about the AGR 1300H landscape auger. This was a new product for Billy Goat last year. We're showing it here at the show this year, trying to gauge more customer, customer interest and just talking about the feature benefits of this machine. If you have any questions throughout the course of this stream, go ahead and send us a direct message. We'll answer at the end of the stream. Let's walk through the features of this machine. Big thing about this one, starting, it is not a towable auger. We built a truly self-propelled landscaping auger. What, that, what I mean by that is this machine has the ability to drive itself to the hole and back to the truck without having to push it or with, with, only, with not one wheel driving like some of our competitors do. Well, since we did that, we wanted to make use of our common control scheme that you find on our aerators and our brush cutters and our motor seams. A, a lot of our products use this hydro drive control. It's been very, very good for us. It's easy for customers to get to use. On the right-hand side, if I squeeze, it goes forward. The left-hand side, I squeeze, it goes backward. The harder I squeeze, the faster it goes. That holds to the auger drive, too, so keeping, keeping the common idea. On the right-hand side, if I squeeze, the auger turns forward. Left-hand side, if I squeeze, the auger turns backward. This machine has a straight-line drilling motion. This huge mechanism here, which we call the Z-Link, enables me to drill a plumb straight hole in one motion. I can push on it, the whole thing is going to move, push my bit straight into the ground, drill a straight hole. With some of our competitive units, it's going to, uh, with a competitive unit, a cantilever design, while I'm drilling, I'm going to have to push the machine forward and then drill again in order to keep walking that bit straight. Whereas with this mechanism, straight into the ground, straight hole every time. It has a transport position on the bit, which allows you to actually transport the machine with the bit on it, which is something a lot of our customers you cannot do. This machine will ramp load into the back of the pickup truck with the bit on load it up into the back of the truck, leave the bit installed, take it off the truck, never have to take the bit on and off. That's, that's a big savings in time. It's kind of a pain to have to take that apart. So when I'm ready to drill, I get a floating position, and now it'll drill. It has one more position. It snaps out this way. What this does is when I want to clean the bit, it is now held rigid. It's not free swinging, and it's pointed out to me so it's easy to access. Getting down in there with a, with a screwdriver or a putty knife, whatever you've got to use to get the rocks and mud out of the bit, you've got to position it. So when I want to travel a long distance, I throw the bit up into the storage position up here. Position that puts my handlebars at a lower height. This is for a long travel. It's nice and comfortable. It's right kind of consistent with the rest of our products. It sits at that same height. Give you that common feel. Easy to maneuver. You don't have to drive with your hands up here. It sits right like this. <laughs> so walking around, throttle controls, easy to reach, convenient right here, right here at arm's reach. It does have the ability to be rotated to drill on a side hill. There's a pin here you would pull. Pop it down in this, which is slotted internally, and then as I loosen that, it can rotate my head over left to right, lock it down, and drill at an angle. When I am drilling a hole, if I want the machine to sit still, if I don't want it to, uh, I don't want the machine to rock out of place while I'm drilling the hole, because it does get a little violent motion when it's drilling the hole. We do have a brake that locks the tire on either side. So that will enable the machine to not move while I'm drilling the hole, keep me firmly planted right where I want to put my hole. Easy to release, pop that back off, and I'm good to drive again. Coming forward on the machine, it does have a single belt that drives everything underneath, the wheel drive as well as the hydraulic pump for the auger. It's a 13 horsepower GX390 Honda engine. It produces the most bit torque in its class of 350 foot pounds. We're able to do that because we run the largest engine, the most horsepower. Of all of For smooth driving over uneven ground, we do have an articulated front axle, foam filled front tires, that enables the machine to ride a lot smoother as I go over uneven stuff. Easier for you to drive, it doesn't beat up the operator. It does come with a standard hour meter on this side, which I forgot to show you. There's an hour meter back over here. Keep track of your hours. It has a cold start feature. 
cold morning, since it's a rope start engine, cold morning, I pull this out and lock it, that takes the tension off the belt system. So when I'm pulling the work, when I'm pulling the engine, I'm not pulling the hydraulic system, I'm just pulling the engine to get started. Once it warms up, I can re-engage the belt system and drive the machine. It just makes it easier for me to get started. Uh, hydraulics, hydraulic filter is out, out here, easy to get to, easy to service. It is protected, very, very uh, sturdy steel bracket there. Mechanism is supported on these gas shocks, so that was something you were seeing while the machine was going up and down. It is supported by those gas struts. Those actually help to lift the bit out of the ground when you get done with the hole. That helps make it easier on the end user, so you're not picking the whole weight up. You've got support by those gas struts. Help get it back out. On weed, that actually is every feature I can think of on this machine. Uh, so. Just like we said earlier, if there's any questions, send us a direct message. Uh, if nothing else, we will be live again tomorrow. I believe around noon time, I think we're going to be doing one. So that's all for today. Have a good day.